1846, Robert Thompson patented the world's first automobile tire. The design and its subsequent modifications turned out to be so successful that for the next 150 years, the world did not even think to switch to another technology. Until one of the largest tire companies, Michelin, decided to reinvent the wheel in the early 2000s. While others condescendingly tried to explain that no one needed experiments in this area, the company step-by-step -step created a new technology that could completely change the car market in the world. Why was it necessary to reinvent the wheel? At the beginning of the 21st century, the world was swept by a wave of motorization. If in the year 2000, more than 58 million cars were produced in the world, then in five years the figure increased to 66 million, continuing to rise by 2 to 11 million every year. In 2019, a new record was set with 92 million vehicles produced. Only COVID-19 has halted growth, pushing automakers back to 2010 levels. Along with the growth of wheel transport, the number of tires increased sharply and as a result, the problems associated with them began to multiply. Today's tire problems can be divided into two groups. The first is the role of tires in ensuring the safety of drivers and passengers. And the second is the environmental consequences of their production, use and disposal. Thus, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or NHTSA, in 2019, there were 619 fatal accidents in the United States due to tire problems. The number of people that died in 2020 for the same reason is still unknown. Calculations are underway. However, given that the total number of road fatalities in the year of the pandemic was 38,680, a record figure since 2007, it is likely that the share of tire problems will also increase. One of the main problems is wheel explosion. There are various reasons for this – punctures, high speed, depressurization, etc. According to the National Automotive Sampling System Crashworthiness Data System NAS CDS, which processed all the data about all the crashes from 2000 to 2015, almost every 270 crashes are somehow related to tire faults, leading to the death of about 200 people a year. At the same time, statistics show only average values. In 2017, two years after the research, 738 people died due to blown-up tires. Another problem is insufficient pressure inside the tire. Another National Motor Vehicle Crash Causation Survey found that underinflated tires are three times more likely to be on the list of critical factors in the pre-crash phase, by 25% or more. At the same time, according to the survey, almost 34% of men and 50% of women in the United States rarely check the level of pressure inside the wheels. Other reasons, according to the study, may also be insufficient tread depth, the use of already damaged tires, and the overloading of vehicles. NHTSA researchers have found another interesting correlation. Poor road conditions and weather are serious complicating factors when using damaged tires. So, cars with wheel problems at the stage before the accident accounted for almost 11% of all road accidents in the selected year. And with good weather and a repaired road, the percentage of the same vehicles dropped to 3.9%. The second group of problems is related to ecology. The number of tires produced is always more than the number of cars, some of which are almost always thrown into a landfill without having served even half of their life. As Michelin says, about 200 million tires go to landfill early annually due to punctures and premature wear due to non-compliance with the pressure inside the tires. At the same time, almost 80% of the world's car tire stockpile are made from synthetic rubber, which in turn is extracted from oil. The resulting products are highly biodegradable and highly flammable, creating a risk of fires and environmental poisoning. They began to engage in their proper disposal of these products relatively recently. Back in the 1990s, half of the world's tires were simply burned, releasing dirty substances into the atmosphere. However, in the last decade, other processing methods have begun to develop. The most common method is mechanically cutting the tires into crumbs, which are then used for new tires or as part of the asphalt pavement. In some countries, pyrolysis technology is gaining popularity recycling tires in special vacuum chambers or reactor plants. 
But this technology is not yet available to poor countries, which prefer to use the old method of incineration, despite the deterioration of the ecological situation. Observing the growth of motorization and the problems associated with it, scientists from the Michelin Company decided to go ahead and start developing new types of tires that would meet the requirements of the modern age and not almost two centuries ago. But how do we reinvent the wheel? In the early 2000s, the company's scientists analyzed the current tire problems as well as simulated future problems, including environmental and safety issues. Several years of hard work followed, and in 2005, the first prototype of Tweel's airless radial tire technology was patented. By combining the wheel and tire into one unit, the designers were able to get rid of the air chamber, replacing it with polyurethane spokes that can be individually configured for each vehicle. A special clamp runs through the spokes, which forms the surface and edges of the new wheels with the road. The new wheels made it possible to raise the car's handling to an unattainable height, bypassing even the latest models of standard tires in this parameter. And this is 15 years after their creation. Another advantage is the protection of the wheels from punctures as well as road roughness. And the absence of the need to check the pressure level facilitated the repair works and the associated costs. The Tweel technology has received the attention it deserves from drivers, spurring other manufacturers to urgently pursue the development of airless tire technology. This led to the release of similar products from the Polaris and Bridgestone a couple of years later, on a market where new Michelin wheels were already sold with might and main. However, at the time, the technology itself was still crude. The speed ceiling with such wheels was limited to only 80 km per hour which discouraged potential drivers from large cities who were used to driving on the Autobahn. At higher speeds, such wheels began to make a lot of noise and vibration, which created additional discomfort, and the limited carrying capacity on one wheel put an end to their use for any non-passenger car. Taking into account the first experience, the Michelin researchers with an annual budget of 600 million euro continued to develop this technology. Given the growing interest in positive feedback, as well as close scrutiny from other companies, scientists have been slow to release the new technology. Instead, they continue to improve the prototype, releasing new models to the market and simultaneously launch the development of a new project in this direction. It took designers and scientists 14 long years to develop a new brainchild. Even when the iFlex, Hankook company, presented its version of rubber without air chambers at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 2013, making a tangible revolution in this technology, the Michelin employees did not accelerate their work to get ahead again. Only in 2019 was the new Michelin Uptis, or Unique Puncture Proof Tire System, airless tire introduced. The product turned out to be so high-tech that the developers had to register 50 patents, which were components for one wheel. Instead of polyurethane spokes, the designers used zigzag connectors on the tread and inner rim, made from composite rubber and polymer fiberglass. The connectors provide reliable puncture protection while adding 7% more wheel weight instead of the tweel's lighter weight. According to the company, the handling with such wheels is much higher, up to aquaplaning during heavy rains. Eliminating the need for a spare tire and extended service life will attract customers to quickly switch to new innovative wheels. Following the release of the test model, the Michelin Uptis received three prestigious awards. The Golden Steering Wheel for the Best Innovation of 2019 in Germany, Automobile Award 2020 for the Best Tire of the Year in France, and AVT Aces 2020 for the Best Mobile Solution in the USA. However, despite the high marks, the launch of the Michelin Uptis is planned only in 2024. For this, a partnership was entered into with General Motors, whose cars will be equipped with new tires. The remaining time will be used to refine technical nuances and coordinate with the authorities to obtain the necessary permits. At the same time, experts note that it is still not clear what will happen to the wheels if a stone gets into them. If it flies out, as they say in the company, will it not harm neighboring cars and pedestrians? It is also unclear how the wheels will behave in winter conditions after a long idle period in frost. Not to mention the fact that the new tires will close many tire companies. After all, the wheels will be supplied immediately as a set. What do you think about this? How big are the chances of this technology to replace the wheels we are used to? Please write your answers in the comments below the video.